What is going on, Crypto Crew? This is your boy Cryptic Flash here, bringing you guys our Week Six matchup against uh, Rising Star Dylan and the Richmond Raikus. If you guys are hyped, make sure you hit that like button down below. Also, subscribe if you're new to join the uh, the Cryptic Crew. I post Pokemon content on the weekly, uh, pretty regularly. So uh, make sure to go ahead and do that. Uh, this week, as you guys can see down there, um, this is what we're kind of expecting uh, Dylan to bring. Uh, you guys can see what I'm bringing. Uh, the big things I'm worried about on this team. Uh, Cofagrigus, Vapor. I'm worried about his bulky Pokemon. Uh, not so much his uh, hard hitters like Weavile, Nidoking, uh, Galvantula. I'm not too worried about those. Uh, I'm worried more about his bulky Pokemon because we don't have uh, the best of answers. We have a couple toxic users. Uh, and if we need to... Uh, Excuse me, we can go ahead and get some chip damage off uh, with other Pokemon, but uh, we will definitely have to tread carefully. If he brings a Zapdos, I'm kind of uh, frightful. Uh, the thing is, is uh, if he brings some big defensive threats, he can't bring others. So that's kind of the way I'm looking at it right now, is if he brings a bunch of... Uh, if he's only bringing defensive mons, then we can go ahead and try to have a, a good time with that, but... Uh, I'm just really nervous about uh, which which defensive mons he brings. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, and get connected up with Dylan, and I will be with you guys in just a bit. All right, it looks like we are all connected up with Rising Star Dylan here. I'm gonna go ahead, select the rules, get things going. I think that this match, I'm actually gonna open up a notepad and go ahead and actually take notes on his squad to uh just to kind of better remember everything um i feel like it will actually benefit us uh just kind of keep our head in the game um i think it's a good idea i'm gonna try it out see how i like it uh, i have all of our damage calcs open and all of that good stuff so uh, we'll see what goes on what he brings i'm very nervous to see what he brings um i think if I don't see Cofagrigus, uh, Cofagrigus, I will be ecstatic, you guys. I will be super duper happy. As one mon I don't want to see, because I just don't have a really good answer for it. Uh, at least Vaporeon, uh, Primarina pretty much walls it and can take it on. We also have the Heliolisk, uh, and the Thunderbolt will not be appreciated. Um, but yeah, that Cofagrigus is going to be causing issues if he brings it. Um, we have ways of handling it, but a couple Pokemon might get burned. Um, a couple might get hexed. I don't know. I don't know the shenanigans that goes on with Cofagrigus. I do want to make. I, I do want to try to get uh, our Heliolisk Hyper Beam off. So it uh, looks like Rising Star Dylan is all done. I'm actually gonna wish him a good game or good luck. Have fun. We see the Cofagrigus. We see Zapdos. We don't see Gliscor or Nato King. Um, wow, those were two mods that I was super, super thought were, uh, were coming. So we get, see the, so no Glide score, no Nido King. You see a low punny, no Vaporeon, that's actually really nice. All right, uh, we see Zapdos, we see Marowak, and we see low punny. So... That makes things very interesting. Um, I'm thinking he's gonna lead with that Galvantula. Uh, we still the the plan is gonna be to try to get rid of that thing um, as soon as possible, as soon as possible, uh, just to keep Sticky Webs off the field. And we need to get rid of that Weavile so that our Latios can have some fun. Um, our switch or our lead is actually going to be. Umbrella, so we could get that U-turn off and break his scarf. Break or break his sash if he's holding a focus sash. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead confirm. We're gonna go ahead see his lead. I am nervous. I am ready. Let's do this. So low punny, Marowak, uh, Weavile, Galvantula. Off, Agrigus, and Zapdos. Alright, so we lead Heliolisk. He leads Miles, the, the 
stinking gosh darn uh, Galvantula. So our play a million times is going to be U-turn. Um, even if this thing is scarfed for whatever reason, um, I don't see him necessarily knocking us out. Let's just check it out. Let's just check it out to be sure. I don't want to make any too uh, rash plays, but um, Galvantula, even if it's a life orb attacker. Uh, yeah, Bug Buzz is doing the max of 73%, uh, so I feel fully comfortable just going for the U-turn here. Uh, getting out on this thing, he's going to set up his sticky webs uh, more than likely. We're going to U-turn. Get some momentum. That does some nice damage. Uh, we lose uh, some uh, health because of Life Orb, but that is fine. We're going to go right out into Spearmint if... Do I like that play? I mean, Spearmint, what's Spearmint taking? Um, I mean, I played this out in my head I, every time he's going for Sticky Webs, and I don't think that this is any different. I don't think this is any different, but if he is going for Bug Buzz, we lose our Latios. I don't think this is any different, though. What does Latios do for us? Um, if if we lose Latios, is that is that doing much for us? Like, Latios really isn't built for anything specific. Uh, it can kind of just take hits and uh, dish out damage, but it doesn't really handle anything super effectively. So, I mean, worst case, we lose Latios, but I'm thinking that he's going to go for the Sticky Webs. Uh, so we're just going to go Latios and see what happens. No Bug Buzz. Don't show me Bug Buzz. So he goes for Sticky Webs. So that is best case scenario. That is absolutely best case scenario. We're going to go for the Psychic... Uh, make him make him make the switch into Weavile. Make him make the switch into Weavile. Uh, or he can stay in and try to bug buzz, but uh, he is going to stay in. Does he have any special investment? Because this should knock him out. And it does knock him out. So we take out Miles. Uh, his sticky web setter is gone, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I need to take notes. I said I was going to take notes. I'm not taking notes. Uh... Galvantula dies to Psychic from Lobby. And we just saw the Sticky Webs. I think his switch in right now is Weevil. We uh, Weavile. Sticky Webs. Uh, I'm glad I made that play. Uh, nine out of ten times you see a Galvantula lead. It's going for Sticky Webs. So I kind of just played off of that. Um... I think his his switch in is pink power. That is the that is the Weavile. So uh, I could see a knockoff coming off our way. Um, I really don't want to see a low kick. What are you doing to Pre Marina? Because of the fact that we don't have a Mega Agron yet, we have just a regular Agron. We have just a regular Aggron. What if we do that? Sure. Against a Weavile? Low kick. Yeah, low kick is knocking us out, but I don't think I would see him low kick on a Latios. You know? I mean, that would be pretty risky. I think a knockoff is just coming our way. I think a knockoff is just coming our way. If he low kicks, though. Done so fun, though. If he low kicks, we go out into Beauty Queen and set screens? I don't know. I think that our play is Juggernaut just in case he goes for that knockoff or an ice move. Um, I think that those would be his plays. I don't think that a low kick would be his play right here. Just because he sees a Latios and that would be horrible if I stayed in for whatever reason. So we go Juggernaut. He goes for the... Don't show me low kick. Ice Icicle Crash. So we quad resist that. That's very nice. 
That is absolutely very nice. Uh, we eat that for days. And we are just going to actually Mega Evolve. And what comes in here? What comes in to take on a Heavy Slam? Does Earthquake kill? I don't want to go for Earthquake because he has that Zapdos. Um, so I'm actually just going to go for the Heavy Slam. Uh, I brought Ice Punch on this thing for absolutely no reason now that he didn't bring that uh, stinking Nidoking King or Gliscor. But that's okay. We're just going to Mega Evolve and go for the Heavy Slam. He's going to withdraw. Uh, so I don't know what that means for him. Um, he goes Beyonder. Oh, I hate this thing. Oh, I hate this thing. We're going to Mega Evolve, get a Heavy Slam off. Oh, this thing's disgusting. Uh, the Mummy ability is going to kick in. Heavy Slam goes off. That does. Whoa! I did a lot. I did a lot. Alright, so I'm fairly confident a Willow is coming our way. Um, I need to make note that Weavile did not. I didn't see Fake Out. Uh, we saw Icicle Crash. We didn't see any item. On Kofagrigus, we saw the beautiful, beautiful um, leftovers. And I think we're about to see a nice Willow here. So I think our play is either Umbrella or Beauty Queen. Because I don't want Aggron getting burnt. Um, he took a lot of damage from that Heavy Slam. He took a lot. I'm just trying to see what kind of set this thing is. Uh, So, Heavy Slam, it did about, so, I'd say he's not, he doesn't have much defensive investment, if any. I'm going to go into Beauty Queen, because I'm okay with that thing getting burnt. Uh, and then we can go for a Toxic on something. And go ahead, switch out. There's Beauty Queen. Beauty Queen should take this pretty nicely. If it is the Willow. And there's the Willow. So I didn't want any of my uh, physical threats getting um, getting burnt and pretty much useless. So we see the Willow on this thing. All right, Beauty Queen. And this is unfortunate because Beauty Queen is our special wall. Uh, and just kind of getting this thing whittled down is unfortunate. But we're going to go for the Toxic. Go for the Toxic, try to poison something. If you bring Zapdos in, that's the best case scenario. Uh, he's actually going to stay in. We hit the Toxic, which is super nice. Um, I could see a Hex coming. Does this thing get any poison moves? So he goes for the Toxic Spikes. That sucks. Although we do have Latios to defog away, so I'm actually kind of okay with that. He can go ahead and set up all these. I'm going to try to get into Latios. Uh... And Beauty Queen is burnt, so I'm not too worried. We're going to go ahead and just get the light screen up. Light screen goes up. And he goes for the Toxic Spice. So two layers of Toxic Spice. Uh, what are you doing to a Latios? Latios. Um, Alright, Poison's whittling him down. So if we have a light screen up, whoops. So light screen is actually not doing much at all. So I think that this is an ideal time to go out, or uh, Hex isn't doing anything at all. You could also have Shadow Ball. And that is doing 25 to 30. So I think that Spearmint is our move right now to go ahead and try to get rid of those T-Spikes. Cause that's highly annoying. I don't want to put up with that. Uh, Shadow Ball comes through. Oh my gosh. That did a lot. That did a disgusting amount. Um, What we could also do is start setting up Calm Minds and Roosting. Because we will outspeed this thing. Or Recovering rather. I think that's what we're going to do. If he gets a crit though, that's going to be highly unfortunate for us. So we go ahead and set up the call mine. 
I don't know how to handle this thing, so I don't really have any great answers. He goes for a Shadow Ball. As long as there's no crit. And there's not. So, we're going to go ahead, recover up. And kind of let Toxic do his thing. We're going to recover up. Let Toxic do its thing. And then go ahead and defog this next turn. The reason I went for Call Mine is not so much to set up. Uh, especially on the offensive side. It's more just to be able to better handle these Shadow Balls. So that we can get our defog off. Alright. Okay, so he lives. Actually, that's best case scenario right there. Because we just go for the defog. Get rid of these hazards. And no more webs for the rest of the game. Uh, meaning that our choice scarf Tarakion is going to have a field day. And he goes for the shadow ball. Latios did his job. Uh, so I'm pretty content. And he's going to just go down to the... To the poison. So we take out... Beyonder, the the Cofagrigus, the thing that I was most antsy about. I didn't really have any great answers, but I think we handled it uh, appropriately. I can see him going back out into Weavile. If he does, we go right back out into Aggron and Heavy Slam something or Toxic something. So he does. He goes back out into Pink Power, uh, Pink Power, and I could see a pretty fresh knockoff or Icicle Crash. We didn't see the low kick, so maybe he doesn't have it. But we're going to just switch out. I need to make a note that Cofagrigus is done. So he does go for a knockoff. We should eat this. Yeah, we do. Um, dies to Toxic. From Primarina. See, even when we don't bring offensive Primarina, it still puts in the work, you guys. I'm actually going to go for the Toxic right now. I think his play is either... Zapdos or Alolan Marowak. Um, if it's Alolan Marowak, an Earthquake would be pretty nice. But if it's Zapdos, I go for an Earthquake. That's going to kind of stink. So I think that we're just going to go... Do I want to make that play though? I don't need to. That's the thing. Uh, he goes into Alolan Marowak. Threatens me out with a Fire type move. Uh, we go out into Hippowdon. I think to take that, uh, that hit... And then just Earthquake him. How well is Hippowdon handling a... Gosh darn... Flare Blitz. Uh, Marowak. Ah, uh, Flare Blitz. Actually, he's not liking these hits. Yeah, Flare Blitz is doing over half. That makes me a little antsy. That definitely makes me a little antsy. I'm just going to go for the Earthquake predicting. Predicting the Marowak. Tundaburb. And that is why we go for Toxic, ladies and gentlemen. That is why we go for Toxic. So that was a very good switch on his part. Um, threatens us out really nicely. We're going to just go out into Grumpy Lumps. Grumpy Lumps is our answer to this thing. Go grumpy lumps. Take these hits. <laughs> Whipping up that sand stream. And he goes for the heat wave. So that shouldn't do too much. And it does nothing at all because we are a bulky, bulky boy. Uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to go ahead and set up our rocks. So that that um, Weavile, if it's Sash or anything crazy, uh, will be, we'll be getting hurt pretty good. The light screen was up. Uh, I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. Uh, so we're just going for the South Rocks. Uh, I should have packed Stone Edge instead of Ice Fang, but I was uh, pretty sure that that Gliscor was coming. Uh, he goes out in Lepus, the stinking uh, thing imaging. So we get our, uh, our rocks up, which is actually really nice. Um, I need to make a note that we saw leftovers. So it's a bulky set. And we saw Heat Wave. Okay. I think that uh, a million percent of the time, even if this thing wants to go for a fighting type move, our play is Aggron. 
What are you doing to... Before I do this, low punny. You're not doing much to our beautiful, beautiful Grumpy Lump. So I'm actually going to stay in here and just go for an Earthquake. I don't see any reason not to. Uh, he goes for an Ice Punch. That is a perfectly good reason not to. Uh, but we are a very thick boy, you guys. I, I, I think I underrated how defensive this Mon is, you guys. Um... It is a monster. It takes hits. It eats hits. It just doesn't care, you guys. Uh, I I think that I need to start bringing Grumpy Lumps more. Just because it, 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 that mouth, it sees it hit, it just... Um, just eats that thing. It just eats it. Um, I'm actually going to go for an Ice Vein right here. In case he switches out into that uh, Thunderbird. Uh, he does it. He's just going to Ice Punch. Uh, that does, don't get the freeze. Uh, we'll see if this kills. Hopefully it will. It does not. Uh, that's fine though. Because Sandstorm next turn is going to kill. So we're just going to go ahead and get our slack off. off To go ahead and get as much health back as we can. Ice punch. Oof. And the slack off. So uh, we get our HP back which is super nice. It is super nice. And we are sitting... Oh! No! That sandstorm. It wore down. Uh, that's fine. We're just going to go for the Ice Fang just in case for whatever reason he switches. He's just going to Ice Punch. Will he get the freeze? He will not. So, he is dodging. He is dodging hits. He is dodging hits, you guys. I'm just going to keep with it. Uh, Earthquake is the player, obviously, because Earthquake doesn't miss. So I don't know why I keep going Ice Punch. Or Ice Pain. But we, uh, we connect, thankfully. And Low Punny goes down. So Grumpy Lumps is sitting here. Grumpy Lumps is, is liking what he's doing. I'm liking what he's doing. I'm definitely liking what he's doing. He's going into Pink Power. Um... I switch every single time is going to be Mega Air Ground. Every single time. It's definitely going to be Mega Air Ground. Because uh, the Isocrew Crash is going to hurt this Grumpy Lumps. And Air Ground can take it like a champ. So we see the Ice Skull Crash. How much is this doing? Yeah, it does 19. It does 19. So I'm going to expect this stinking Thunderbird and go for a Toxic. Uh, we're going to start. Oh, he goes for the knockoff. I could have killed you. Oh, I should have just gone Heavy Slam. I should have just gone Heavy Slam. So this thing's poisoned now. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to go for the Heavy Slam on this play. I don't want to make any crazy predictions. He's going to knock off again. Uh, kind of just sacking this thing off. And we hit the heavy slam. And Pink Power goes down. So he just got the Marowak and the Zapdos. Uh, I think Agron has kind of done the work that he needs to do. Bone to pick. So here's the gosh darn Marowak. Uh, taking a lot from rocks. No, I don't really have anything that wants to take a hit from this thing. So I'm just going to go for the Earthquake just in case he, like, just, I don't know, we outspeed or something. But I don't think we do. We do. So Juggernaut is going to pick up a kill on this thing. I did not think we outsped. And, ooh, he's living. He's living. He's going to go for the, oh, no. I feel bad. I feel bad. Oh, I am sorry, Dylan. I feel really bad about that miss. Uh, so Juggernaut's going to pick up another kill here. Um, off of an unfortunate miss. Uh, but then last up is that Zapdos. We're going to just Toxic it. Try to wear it down. I think that Tarakion just comes in and clicks Stone Edge. I think. It's going to take a lot from Rocks. Uh, or we just Ice Punch it and try to get damage off. I actually like that play better. 
Nice punch. And he goes for the Heat Wave, and that should knock me out. All right, and then we just go out into our gosh darn bully. Uh, hit Stone Edge and call it a game. Call it a game. We are Choice Scarf. Stone Edge has potential to miss. And it doesn't. Can it kill? And it does take out Tunda Bird. Uh, Burb. My bad. Uh, but good game. Uh, great game, Dylan. Uh, I'm sorry about the hacks there. I was fully expecting um, a NATO King uh, and a Glide Score. But I think that we did well with the team that we saw. Uh, Pre-Marina, the screens kind of came in clutch. Uh, the light screen, at least. It allowed Latios to go ahead and take those hits uh, uh, to get recover and defog. And pretty much once I got those webs away, uh, my team had a good time. So uh, it, was, it was a well-battled game. I think that we prepped well for this team. Um, and Kafa Grigas was just, uh, it, it was a very scary mod. And Toxic Spikes could have been really detrimental to our squad. But uh, fortunately, we brought Latios and Idelmize to get rid of hazards. Uh, and that seemed to work out pretty nicely for us. So, uh, you guys, this Minnesota Lycan Rocks are now 4-2. Uh, having a nice big win here. Next week, our matchup is against Pokey Prez. Uh, his record, as of right now, I think is... It's either two or three or three or two uh, before he has his uh, week six match. So we'll see how that kind of uh, falls in line. Uh, it's going to be a big week. Uh, it's going to be a big matchup. We need to win. Uh, it'd be nice if we could just win out. Uh, we're sitting at four and two. Uh, that's a pretty nice record. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, big win for your Lycan Rocks. Make sure you smash that like button down below to show your support for the Minnesota Lycan Rocks. Uh, but that's going to be it for me, guys. This is Cryptic Flash. I'm out.